This video will show you how to quickly set up a Turnitin assignment in Blackboard. Go to the content area where you're going to add your Turnitin assignment, usually assessments, and under tools you'll find the Turnitin assignment option. The first time this runs you might be asked to accept their terms and conditions and if it doesn't run the first thing to do is to double check that all your plugins are up to date and maybe try a different browser. Scrolling down, the first thing is to add a title for your assignment. So let's just call it essay that the students are going to upload. The point value is how much you're going to mark it out of. And we're going to put in 100 here. The date, the start date, is the date and time students can start submitting their work. So I'm going to choose that maybe it's going to start on Monday of next week at midnight. So from the beginning of Monday. The due date is the date in which the student, students must submit their assignments by. And we can choose that. And in this case, I'm going to choose it, say, to be, let's go to November, say the 8th of November. And you can again specify the time. And the post date is only relevant if you're going to enter marks within the grade centre or use grade marks to mark the student's work. And this is the date from which the students will be able to see the results. Essentially, we need to ensure that it's after the due date, but if we're not using grade mark, we don't need to worry about it too much. Scrolling down, we have optional settings that we can work our way through. You can see more about these in the Blackboard Instructor, or the Turnitin Instructor Manual, which is attached here in Blackboard for you. Uh, you can enter special instructions, and generally speaking, I would recommend upload your final essay here. Allow submissions after the due date. This is up to you. But if you do allow submissions after the due date, students can still submit their work, but they'll be marked as late. So it means that it makes your life easier if rather than having to reopen turn it in or allow for exceptions. You want to generate original reality reports for submissions and generally speaking the default in each of these cases is uh, what I would pick. You may decide to exclude small matches. In some cases it can be annoying if there's lots of small matches against the student's work and this is the description for what that is. The student's work should be submitted to the standard paper repository unless you do not want student assignment, your student's assignments to be added to the Turnitin repository. And we're not going to attach a rubric, but if you were going to mark this work online using a grade mark, you would choose a rubric from the list or to create your own new rubric. Hit submit and this will create the Turnitin assignment. Clicking OK. We now have the turn in an assignment and it will be available after this time for students. We recommend, in fact it's mandated by the Institute's policy, that for each turn in an assignment, students, you would set up a turn it in revision assignment which allows students to submit their work in a draft format, see the originality report prior to uploading their final version. So here, choosing revision assignment, you have to choose which Turnitin assignment it's based on. In this case, it's based on essay, but if you had a number of assignments, you could choose which one. There's no need to worry about the mark. You can choose your times and your dates as appropriate. And the special instructions here would be upload your draft essay here. So again, just to be sure that students will upload their work in the right place. It can generate original reports. Again, choose this one. The default is fine. And ensure that your students can see the originality reports. Hit Submit and click OK. Turning editing off allows us to see what students will see. They can immediately upload their draft essay and clicking on this allows them to go through the process and we can see if we turn editing back on that the final upload will be available shortly afterwards. So you can use the timing to encourage students to use the revision 
in the draft format first. OK, that's it. With the Turnitin assignment set up in the assessments area, we can, once students have uploaded work, view the student submissions by going to the control panel and through dropping down we'll choose from the course tools near the bottom you'll see Turnitin assignments. Clicking on this will list all Turnitin assignments for this course and if you click on the name of the Turnitin assignment it will bring up a list of the students and you can download their work and view their originality reports and their original submissions. If you're using Grademark you can mark online again by following the link here.